Good evening. Uh, my name is Rafael Curiel, City McAllen employee wellness coach. And you know, even though this um, this is not as polished up as we would like it to be, I just really wanted to um, get on here with Facebook Live today and uh, speak with you about the It's Time Texas app. Uh, be looking for uh, future videos being put out by uh, the uh, McAllen Cable Network, being put out by different agencies that are working with the Mayor's Wellness Council from the Health Department from uh, McAllen ISD and a whole bunch of other people because everybody's getting involved in this. We're really loving it down here at, at um, in the city of McAllen and really in the whole RGV is uh, really coming on board with the It's Time Texas Community Challenge. One, because it's, uh, it's uh, competitive. We get to see how we're doing with our health and wellness, with our workouts, with our water consumption, with our community events. And uh, the reason I wanted to come on today as, er as early as it is, because the, the event doesn't start until Monday the 4th, is when you can start logging points. I wanted to come on early because there is a, a, a big change this year as far as how you're going to acquire those points. This year for the first time, uh, It's Time Texas is asking that you download the app in order to record your points. And to do that, I wanted to just show everybody that the app is available that it is uh, live. You cannot record your points yet until Monday, but I just wanted to walk through and show you a couple of the different features that I saw starting this morning when I, when I opened up the app for the first time and just show you what to look out for uh, starting on Monday if you're one of the organizers for the It's Time at Texas Challenge down here in the RGV. And you're like, well, who could, be, who could be an organizer for the event? Truth is, it takes everybody. It takes anybody who's interested in uh, promoting health and wellness here in the Valley, anybody who is interested in connecting with the people in their lives and trying to bring them on board to do more healthy activities more often, because this is a free app and it's put together by a nonprofit agency and it's an app that's available for everybody. And it's just really a great way to start that conversation about what can you do on a day-to-day -day basis, especially during the challenge, to earn points for healthy activities. And uh, to, to get us started here, we have we have the um, the app on the App Store. So uh, starting today, you can go down to the ITT Community Challenge, search for it in your App Store, and you can download it. So this is what it's gonna look like here. And then once you download it and you open it up, you're gonna get a chance to see the home screen where you can do cool things like set up your profile. So up in the upper, uh, upper right, upper left-hand corner, at the top of the page, you see I've already uh, uploaded my profile pic. Here I can do things like report activity, we can organize activities, we can uh, record our challenge points. We, I, I'm not really sure 100% what we can do with the uh, giving and receiving high fives. That sounds like something cool for this year. Can't wait to see what that's about. You can also report your activities one of two ways. In the upper left hand corner you can see where it says report activity. And you can also just click the uh, center home button as it was uh, that looks like a camera for reporting your activities. Now, there are two ways you can report activities on this app. You can either report each activity as an individual event. And to do that, let's go ahead and see uh, this one right here, logging activities, when I click on that report button. And it's asking, well, what did you do that was a healthy activity? You can do things like running, walking, water consumption, workouts. And once you decide which activity you're gonna do, you can put the duration, you can put the location, you can put whether it was a group or individual event, and all those things earn points for the city of McAllen. Last year, I think we wrapped it up with closer to like six million points. So if you're thinking about doing this for the first time and you're seeing this video for the first time, you're not alone in doing it. A lot of people are have, have done it over the past three years. And from what we're hearing from the uh, people who have participated in it, they had a great experience in a lot of these activities that they got involved with, they continued to do them even after the challenge was over. So again, I am the employee wellness coach for the city of McAllen, but this is a call to all people in the RGV. If you're living in McAllen, please uh, register for city of McAllen. If you're in another city, you can register for those cities too. We wanna see the sister cities of the RGV also increase their excitement for participating in the It's Time Texas Challenge. Again, it's been ongoing now for five years and we are just very happy to see more and more people get involved with each time it, it goes around. This is about a three month challenge and here's one of the ways that you can get involved is by logging your points here. My favorite way to log points though personally is to make sure that 
early in the challenge, I'm getting credit for the miles that I'm walking or running daily. So what you see on this one is, and I'm just going to check the audio real quick. Okay, so uh, what you see here is health data sync underneath reported activity, my calendar, health data sync. What you're going to want to do is, or you know, what works for me with this challenge, because I don't get a chance to think about it every day, you know, with what I'm doing with health and wellness coaching and other projects going on. I don't always get a chance to go to the It's Time uh, Texas Healthier page and upload my, my activities. What works best for me is to make sure that I am synced with my healthy activities every day. In my case, I walk around I walk around with my phone in my pocket most of the day or in my backpack and at the end of the day it tells me that I've met my 10,000 steps or not. And um, you know that being said, 10,000 steps is, is a good is a good first challenge for anybody out there who's thinking about doing something healthy in, in the year 2021, getting those new year's resolutions up and going. 10,000 steps is great. Uh, I like to remind people that we are live on Facebook right now. So if you have a question or comment, just drop it there in the in the box. Um, it's good to see that we have a few people watching right now. And uh, definitely like and share this because we want to, if you're, if you're running a health and wellness oriented business and you're thinking about a way to get involved with, uh, with the city and get involved with the community as far as improving health and wellness, this is the perfect time. January, February, and March with the It's Time Texas Community Challenge because we're accepting health. For, I mean, we're accepting uh, help from a lot of different people who are, uh, maybe you want to run a, a raffle that includes a registration for It's Time Texas Community Challenge. We'd love to have you participate in something like that because then we can get it to more people. Each, each person who's watching this that is a health and wellness expert in their chosen field, chiropractors, doctors, hospitals, nutritionists, gym owners, all these different people, uh, no matter what field you're in, I guarantee you, you have a group of clients that has, has not yet heard about the It's Time Texas Challenge, and we would like to have them on board for 2021. So here's a call for all of you to get um, get something going with them uh, on this free challenge and uh, contact us at City of McAllen. I'm here at Employee Benefits most days in the afternoons. Uh, you, can, you can contact us and we can talk to you more about this. So let this just be an introduction for you and you know, thank you for, for listening to us about this. Um, anyway, getting back to it very quickly here, uh, the health data sync is what you're going to want to do. So that's about the third one down, health data sync, and you can get your points daily without really having to do much more during the challenge. If you're a very busy person, you got a lot on your mind or you can't get back to doing that, that app every day, at least you know that the points that you've accumulated from walking and running daily are all going to go to City of McAllen. Um, point accumulation and again last year we got six million so hopefully again this year we'll reach six million but you know I'm hopeful that we'll hit we'll hit at least 10 million this year I'm very excited to know that uh, people even though the quarantine is still is still going on in some ways right and we are still uh, sheltering in place where we can and we're not going out as much uh, exercise is necessary and if you're uh, looking for a way to keep track of the exercise that you're doing here's a free app that also lets you connect with a lot of other people and you're gonna see all the healthy resources that are available with social distancing, distancing taken into account because it's health and wellness experts that are creating these, these different events. And you know all the ways to keep you safe but also have you making progress in 2021. So there's no need to feel like you're doing this on your own. You can, you can reach out to other people uh, using this device, using this uh, app and you can get some support. And there's a lot of different resources. So if you look at the next one underneath that says resources, there's free health and wellness coaching available uh, through It's Time Texas. And there's, there's a lot in that resources page because even though this is the first year for the app, it's not the first year for It's Time Texas. So what they did was they took the best of It's Time Texas uh, programs, which were already running for the last four years, and they've streamlined them into the app where now you can do most of the functions through the app. All right, so then uh, that being said, I've shown you what, how to download the app. Uh, we've shown you uh, where it is on the, on the app store, shown you what the home screen looks like, that you can set up your profile and about logging events and different activities that you're doing. The last thing that I wanna bring up here uh, today before we wrap everything up is that you can create, as an individual, you can create 
healthy activities for groups of people through this app. And so I think that's very exciting because you are creating free events for people locally that now you have a platform. You know, I, I do like being on Facebook. I do like LinkedIn and all the different social media apps. The problem is they, they are more on the um, national scale, depending on how a person's newsfeed is set up. They might not see the events going on. I'm surprised all the time. As a wellness coach who's on the lookout for free events for employees and different activities for employees, I'm always surprised when something just happened on the day that I was looking at it on Facebook and I say, well, I, how did I miss this? Well, it's because you know we have friends all across the United States and we have events going on all over the place. So we might miss local healthy events. If you're using the It's Time Texas app and you're connecting with those people from previous years who helped us score those six million points, well then you have a way to really talk to a targeted audience that likes to go to free health and wellness events. So if you know somebody who again owns a gym, if you know somebody who is a chiropractor, who is a doctor, who is a nutritionist, who runs one of these great um, healthy eating places are opening up all the time. Uh, we, have, we have people who are making uh, from scratch food that is very healthy for you and uh, maybe they wanna host some type of event during this, during this window, but they don't know about it. Bring it up to all these people, have them watch this video or share this video with them. And if there's still questions about what is It's Time Texas and how do we get involved, know that it's free, know that the city wants to help you uh, to do that, and know that uh, you know starting on Monday, that's when, the, that's when the, um, the start of the challenge is, and we still have three months worth of healthy challenges, registrations, getting people together and doing all these things through the app to really get us where we wanna be by the end of the challenge. So there's plenty of time to plan, plenty of time to make events. Even if your event is last minute, if, if, even if you're only gonna uh, have an event, let's say it's one o'clock right now, and we're gonna have an event at three o'clock, go ahead and create the activity. You never know who might also be interested in this same activity, you make some connections there, and then you know have a, have a great time learning about all the different resources in the community for health and wellness. All right, so definitely be on board for uh, participating in the It's Time Texas Challenge. Log your points, create events, and uh, keep in touch with us here at City of McAllen Employee Wellness. If you haven't let, uh, if you haven't yet, please uh, give us a like on our City of McAllen Wellness page, and please share our wellness page with other people you know who are in the health and wellness industry because we're always looking to work with them, especially on cool stuff like this. All right, so if I don't see you or talk to you uh, between now and the first, I'll say Happy New Year's to everybody and we'll be talking to you again very soon. See ya.